Good day learners and welcome to another lesson in Life and Works of Rizal. Today we will discuss about the life of Jose Rizal in the Pitan. Rizal lived in exile in faraway the Pitan, a remote town in Mindanao, under the missionary jurisdiction of the Jesuits. He practiced medicine, scientific studies, with his artistic and literary works, widened his language, established school for boys, invented a wooden machine for making bricks, and engaged in farming and commerce. The Beginning of Exile in the Pitan The steamer Cebu brought Rizal to the Pitan carried a letter. In the Pitan, he met Father Pablo Pastels, the superior of Jesuit society in the Philippines. He was the one who wrote a letter to Father Antonio Obak, a Jesuit parish priest of the Pitan. Father Superior Pastels gave the conditions to Rizal before he could leave at convent. He should apologize from the religion or church publicly and state that he is pro-Spanish. He should perform church rites and make a confession of his past life. Lastly, to conduct himself in an exemplary manner, a Spanish subject and a man of religion. However, Rizal did not agree. He stayed with Capitan Carnicero, and they had a good, warm, friendly relationship. He was given the freedom to go anywhere reporting only once a week at his office. Rizal wrote a poem for him which entitled Adon Ricardo Carcinero during the captain's birthday. On September 21, 1892, the sleepy town of the Pitan burst in hectic excitement when the mail boat Butuan was approaching. Capitan Car Carnicero thought a high Spanish official was coming. Butuan brought no official but great news that lottery ticket number 9736 jointly owned by Capitan Carcinero Rizal and Francisco Equilior won the second prize of 20,000 pesos in government-owned Manila Lottery. When Rizal received his share, 6,200 pesos, he gave 2,000 pesos to his father and 200 to Basa in Hong Kong. The rest, he invested to an agricultural land along the coast of the Lisay. Um, I just give you I just want to give you um trivia about Rizal no the only vice that Rizal had was the lottery only the lottery Rizal's pastels debate on religion during Rizal's exile he had a long and scholarly debate with Father Pastels on religion this interesting religious debate may be read in four letters. In spite of this, they remain good friends. Pastels gave Rizal a copy of Imitacion de Cristo, or Imitation of Christ. In reciprocation, Rizal gave him a bust of Saint Paul, which he made. Rizal also became involved in a quarrel with Mr. Juan Lardet, a businessman who purchased lags from Rizal. Lardet, in a letter to Antonio Miranda, stated that if Rizal were a truthful man, he would have told me that the limber and not included in the account were bad. Miranda forwarded this letter to Rizal. Thus, Rizal was angry and challenged Lardet to a duel. Carnicero heard the incident and advised Lardet to apologize rather than accept the challenge knowing that Rizal is an expert in martial arts, fencing, and pistol shooting. Rizal and Father Sanchez Father Pastel still did not stop from convincing Rizal's belief in the religion and instructed two Jesuits, the Father Obak and Father Jose Villa Clara, to win him back. Furthermore, Father Francisco de Paula Sanchez, Rizal's favorite teacher at Ateneo de Manila, the Pitan, he was the only Spanish priest to defend Nolimitangere in public. Rizal also had an idyllic serenity. Members of his family took turns in visiting him. He lived by the seashore with many fruit trees. He had rabbits, dogs and cats. 
he rose early to visit his plants, feed his chickens, and awaken his people, then eat breakfast with them. Then he treats his patients. After that, he teaches the boys and devote the afternoon to agriculture. In the evening, he spends the night reading and studying. Yes, learners, this is the replica of Dr. Jose Rizal's house where he spent most of his time while in exile in the Pitan. Rizal's encounter with Friar's spy. A spy of the Friars visited Rizal pretended to be a relative as Pablo Mercado. He offered his services as a confidential courier of letters and writings for the Patriots in Manila. By that time, Rizal was suspicious. But as a host, he invited the unwanted visitor to stay for the night due to the late hour and heavy rainfall. Early the next day, he sent him away. Later, Rizal learned that this rascal was telling people that he was a relative of Dr. Rizal. Then Rizal reported to Captain Juan Sitkes about the impostor and arrested. On investigation, the real name of the rascal is Florencio Namanan, and he was hired by the friars to spy on Rizal's activities, letters, and writings, which might incriminate him in the re revolutionary movement. Strangely, Sitges quashed the investigation and released the spy. Rizal as a physician in the Pitan Rizal practiced medicine in the Pitan. Most of them were poor patients so that he even gave them free medicine. He operated on his mother's right eye as well. Some of his patients are Don Ignacio Tomaro, a rich Filipino paid him 3,000 pesos. An Englishman paid 500 pesos. Don Florencio Asakaraga, a rich Hashindero of Aklan paid him a cargo of sugar. Rizal became interested in local medicines and in the use of medical plants. He studied the medicinal plants of the Philippines. For poor patients, he prescribed the local medicinal plants. Water system for the Pitan. Rizal held the title of expert surveyor or perito agrimensor. If you can still remember our lesson, uh, last time, wherein Rizal got a vocational course in the Ateneo, and that was his expertise. It's all about being a surveyor. Now, in the Pitan, he was able to apply his knowledge of engineering by constructing a system of waterworks in order to furnish clean water to the town people of the Pitan. Mr. H. F. Cameron, an American engineer, praised Rizal's engineering feat. He spent many months draining the marshes in order to get rid of malaria that infested the Pitan. He knew that malaria is spread by the mosquitoes. And as you can see in the picture, it is the plan of the waterworks for the Pitan constructed by Dr. Rizal and the Jesuit lay brother Juan Costa. Rizal's name was omitted for political reasons. So that's the community projects held in the Pitan. An English patient paid him 500 pesos and it was used to equip the town with its lighting system. Coconut oil lamps placed in the dark street of the Pitan Another community project of Rizal was the beautification of the Pitan. Here is the relief map of Mindanao, National Cultural Treasure. Rizal and Father Sanchez made a huge relief map of Mindanao out of earth stones and grass. Let me end our lesson by asking you what have you learned from our discussion? Kindly put your learnings and realization in the comment section thanks for watching see you in my next one please like leave a comment subscribe and hit the bell button for more lessons to learn bye